Hey, let me ask you something. If SAP runs your business, who or what is running SAP? For most companies, it's still people. People doing the same routine tasks over and over again. Manual data entry, PO matching, invoice validation, chasing approvals through endless email chains. It's not just slow, it's expensive. And worse, it burns out your best talent. Now imagine this, those same SAP tasks handled automatically by intelligent AI agents working 24-7 inside your SAP environment. No breaks, no typos, no spreadsheets, just results. These AI agents don't just automate steps, they understand documents, they talk to your SAP system, they make decisions based on real-time data. You can even ask them in plain English, show me overdue purchase orders in Africa and you'll get the answer in seconds. Departments like finance, procurement, HR, uh, supply chain, wherever there is a bottleneck, AI agents can unlock it. And here's what companies are seeing. 70% faster cycle times, 50% uh, fewer errors, millions, yes, millions saved on operational costs. But the real win, your people get their time back. They stop fighting systems and start focusing on strategy, innovation, growth, and other things. If SAP is the engine of your business, AI agents are the new drivers. Smarter, faster, scalable, and always on. Let's automate the busy work and unleash the business. Well, to put this into perspective, I'm going to take you through our workflow of a system that is run by AI agents that is able to accept uh, attachments when your suppliers send quotations and it's able to automatically create purchase orders in SAP Business One. Okay, for this demonstration, I have downloaded a quotation, a sample quotation from the internet. And the scenario is we are assuming that one of your vendors has sent you this quotation and you need to create it as a purchase order in SAP. But now we are going to do it without having somebody key in the data. We are going to use um, AI agents to be able to read this information and create it in SAP. I have also created a web portal that acts as our intermediary between SAP and uh, the agent. So basically, this portal will serve as an approval uh, system where a person will be able to see all the received quotations then be able to approve a quotation and it will be able to sync into SAP as a purchase order. So for my workflow, this is a simple workflow I'm using. I'm using Telegram as my input uh, channel. You can be able to use email, WhatsApp, or any other channel that you receive the document on. And uh, the process flow is uh, we're receiving the document, then we're uploading it to our Lama Index. Lama Index is our OCR uh, platform. OCR basically means optical character recognition, which means that you're able, it's a system that is able to read data from images and documents. Then for our LLM, we are using a Google Gemini Cat model. You can be able to use OpenAI, and then we are structuring, uh, we are structuring the output uh, in a JSON format and posting it to our custom webhook, which I have, uh, which I'm running on Crop. So I have a Telegram panel open here and uh, before I send the document, I'd just like to show you the uh, SAP console. Basically at the moment you can see we don't have any quotes, so I'm going to open quote request and go to view all. As you can see we don't have any entry yet and uh, uh, what we also have done is I've created a sub bot uh, on Telegram. This is a Telegram desktop application, but also it works on the mobile version. As I had also mentioned, you can be able to use WhatsApp and email and uh, other input uh, platforms. So what I want to do is I'm going to, to send uh, this document and we should be able to see it on the portal. So this is the sample quotation document and I can also leave a message
it's sending the document and uh, once the document has been received the user will get a message so we have received your document and are processing it so now we just wait a bit uh, basically what is happening on the background is the document is being uploaded to our OCR uh, then it's being uh, sent to our LLM for formatting into a JSON format and then it's being posted to our to our webhook. So as you can see, the document has been processed successfully. Please wait uh, for a call from us. Now, once I come here to my web console and refresh it, I should be able to see that document. So let me just show you. So this is the document and it has been posted successfully. So now I can be able to even see, uh, check more information about the items, the prices and everything. Okay. So once you've confirmed the document is okay, you can just approve it. Approving means now posting it in SAP. So I'm just going to click on approve. As you can see now it has been synced to SAP. So I'm just going to open, log into my SAP. Then I'm going to go to purchase order. Then I'll open the last one. So you can see that uh, that uh, purchase order has been created. So basically, that's the, the automation process, but you can be able to do much more with these automotive and more complex uh, processes. And I'm um, looking forward to hearing uh, from you what, what you need automated. You can be able to reach me out. Thank you for watching.